Hello, my name is Gio Chung, and I'm a rising freshman at Thomas Jefferson High School. So for my first milestone of my project, which is the mini tank robot, I had to connect all the wires and of course assemble the bot itself and also write the code for it to move. So as you can see, all the wires are connected and in place, connected to the Arduino and the H-Bridge. And once I connect the wire to the computer, it will run what it's supposed to and the code tells it to. As you can see, it's all moving nice and smoothly, but unfortunately for now, it is restrained by the wire. So I hope to resolve that in a future change. And here's the code that I used to make it move. Luckily for me though, it was mostly copy and paste as I hadn't really used um, code. I hadn't really coded before this, but I hope to add some changes so that I can make the mini tank do what I want it to. Now I did have quite a few challenges. So one big one was that during one of my tests of the robot, uh, we had originally gotten these um, these batteries and these nine volt ones, and they it worked, but um, we thought that like they weren't good, they weren't like powerful enough. So then we got switched to these ones. But when I plugged it in. Um, to the robot it actually started um, steaming and steam was coming out and it fried this so Then I had to like switch it out. So now it works now, but before that I didn't know what the problem was So I had to like switch out all the wires and see if that was a problem and rewrite some of the code and also like Get new motors because I didn't know what the problem was. I saw the smoke but I didn't know that was what the problem was. So we switched it out and now it works. And also you might have noticed that there aren't actually any batteries connected to it, but that's just because I think um, there's still some juice in the system. So for a future milestone, I plan to improve the code, like I said, and start um, doing some of my modifications that I hope to do. Thank you.